Hi YouTube, I did this painting of an aardwolf and I'm just going to talk you through the various stages. So I'm actually an adult education tutor, I teach watercolour classes and this is how I started it off in the class, just doing the pencil outline just to get the main proportions in. So then I carried on my pencil drawing at home in between classes so I was able to do a time lapse of it. So you can see how I'm building all this up, just building up the fur texture bit by bit getting this sort of stripey markings on um, and just trying to get a sense of the light coming in actually from the right hand side okay so all the shadows and things are on the left hand side of the legs and that sort of thing um, and you can see here like once I got all the markings in and I was kind of happy with it I then went back over and started darkening everything up quite a bit more um, so I quite often do this when I'm doing watercolour paintings. I'll quite often just pencil it all in first, shade it all in pencil, because um, when I add the watercolour washes over the top, I think it makes it look more realistic overall. Right, here's the watercolour stages. This was just a wash of raw sienna to start with, and a wash of yellow ochre on the ground. And then I started building up some English red, um, over the top of this just to strengthen the colour um, and then just adding some sepia uh, washes in for some of the main shadows again then I brought it home and carried it on at home uh, as a time lapse so this is me building up all of the colour washes and I do this very gradually and I think having the pencil underneath the pencil shows through as grey and it kind of adds a certain amount of extra realism to it, makes all the colours more neutral, more kind of realistic. And yeah, you can see here I'm just building up sepia, um, so really quite dark into a lot of the stripy markings and all the shadows. And um, I just use like the tip of my brush to get in to give a lot of the kind of fur textures. And then what I'll do is once all this is in, I'll come back over it. I know like with watercolour quite often you work light to dark and you know these darkest colours are what you would put on right at the very end but actually what I quite like to do is put them on and then soften them in with some other kind of pale washes over the top and you can keep swapping between colours so on this one I was using English red, um, raw sienna uh, and watered down sepia washes as well and also you know other colors that I used I used some olive green um, to do some of the kind of grassy effects and I used a slight uh, pinkish color um, some crimson in the ears and that just um, made the ears just a little bit more realistic as well there you go I just put them on and yeah the the textures in the foreground just a bit of grass, a few rocks, it's just enough to kind of um, give him something to be stood on and I think that helps as well. I chose to do it as a cut to white and not put a sky on or any kind of background and I, I think that works quite well. I put a lot of little sweeping shadows on the floor and those are just done with um, sepia and they sweep from right to left. And again, that's giving a sense of the light coming in from the right hand side. Um, and you can see they're, they're cast shadows basically from the longer grasses and from the rocks, but they stretch so they're quite long. Okay, hopefully that gives you all an idea of how I go about painting an animal with long fur. Um, check out my other videos for more animal paintings. Um, animals are my kind of speciality, but check out I've got quite a lot of other painting tutorials on YouTube and um, hit subscribe to see anything else that I do in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.